On this week's edition of Tips and Trends, we're taking a closer look at pension and retirement planning. Simply put, a, a pension fund is where your money will come from when you retire from work when you aren't receiving a regular salary anymore. Now in Jamaica, that's typically when you're between the ages of 60 and 65. But in order to get the money at that age, you have to start paying into a pension scheme right now. Now, I want you to imagine reaching the age of retirement. What does that look like for you? Without your salary, will you still be able to afford groceries or your utility bills? Let's say you're still making more, paying mortgage payments or repaying a loan. Will you still be able to maintain these payments or will you default on your debt? Now, if you're like me, you probably enjoy taking trips and you're probably looking forward to continue your travel explorations in retirement. But without your salary, would you, would you be forcibly grounded? By now, you've likely figured out that it's virtually impossible to do these things without some kind of consistent income stream when you retire. And that's exactly what a pension is for. Now, here are some tips from JMMB's Senior Corporate Manager for Fund Services, Camille Stair, to ensure you avoid old age poverty when you retire. When you're looking on the ABC framework, what we have in place is one, you're auditing, making an assessment of what you have coming in as it relates to your income, the expenses that you may have, because you need to just pause and say what is it that is happening in my financial life and when you do that then you're able to what we go to the second phase which is be budgeting and budgeting now helps you to pinpoint exactly what it is where you can get some latitude what it is that you can afford as it relates to even contributing to a pension arrangement and the critical element of the abc framework is consistency it is not necessarily how much it is that you earn, but it is the consistency of making the contributions, investing, saving, and trying to work towards achieving your retirement goals. Well, you need to look on the first pillar, which is ensuring that you're making contributions to the national insurance scheme, because that is one stream of income that you're going to be getting. Then the next pillar that you're going to be looking on is being a part of a formal pension arrangement. Because you don't want to be behind the eighth ball. You shouldn't be at age 50 or 55 saying, oh, you know, I need to be planning for my retirement you should start as soon as you, you are actively working or in the workforce. And no use. In other news now, come May 1, 2024, Digicel Group will have a new chief executive officer. His name is Marcelo Cataldo. Marcelo, who will be based in Kingston, Jamaica, takes over from Martin Boot, who has served as interim group CEO since the completion of a restructuring exercise in January. Boot will return to his role as group chief operating officer. Originally from Paraguay, Marcelo has diverse international experience, having worked across Latin America, the U.S., and Europe. He joins Digicel from Tigo, Colombia, where he has served as Chief Executive Officer and President since August 2016. Now on Monday, the Statistical Institute of Jamaica Statin reported that point-to-point -point inflation in March was 5.6%, which is within the Bank of Jamaica's target range. However, the March inflation outturn was not what the central bank expected. In fact, just over two weeks ago, the BOJ's Monetary Policy, Policy Committee reported that, quote, inflation is projected to remain above the bank's target range over the March 2024 to June 2025 quarters primarily due to the continuing impact of past and impending increases in PPV fares, end quote. The bank's monetary policy committee is now saying it will continue to closely watch the inflation numbers and other incoming data over the ensuing months to assess the extent to which the current level of inflation will be sustained before making a determination on whether to change the bank's monetary policy stance. Now, the March inflation figure is the second consecutive month of decline in headline inflation, which is a positive development and the first time that the inflation outturn was within the bank's target range since October 2023.